I'm Julie Chen. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Health officials are worried about what people do over the long holiday weekend during the pandemic. The New York Times reports the average daily number of coronavirus cases is about 160,000. That's an increase of more than 1,000 percent since July 4th when it was just more than 12,000. The CDC reports there were nearly 90,000 COVID patients hospitalized on September 2nd. That's almost the same number that were hospitalized on January 30th during the winter surge. The CDC also reports deaths are up more than 131% since last month. The agency says nearly all of the hospitalizations and deaths are of people who are not vaccinated. Oklahoma Highway Patrol is investigating a fatal collision out of Washington County. OHP didn't have much information about the crash, but they say 58-year-old Bartlesville man was walking when he was struck by a vehicle yesterday a few miles south of Ramona. At this time, investigators do not have any information about the vehicle that hit him. Hundreds of people are being forced to evacuate due to a wildfire that's burning in place or County, California. The so-called bridge fire sparked yesterday afternoon. It's already scorched 250 acres, sending smoke into the sky. Right now, the fire is 0% contained. Now let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Annie Brown. Chilly temperatures will be warm for today, but the humidity will be lower, so it will feel right around that actual temperature. 92 degrees for your afternoon. Seasonal average is now 88 south winds around 5 to 10. A wonderful Labor Day forecast. I get feeling like we are right around that temperature, so that is some welcome news. Not seeing those high heat indices. Plans tonight, grilling maybe. It's going to be a wonderful night to do so. Lots of sun will stay clear. Sun setting out closer to 745 this evening with overnight lows returning to those 60s. 65 will do it for your overnight low.